So we are going to be talking about 2022 being the year of the destination wedding specialist. And yes. are you ready? So there are three things that we believe you need to have in place yes. to be ready for this upcoming wedding season. And I'm not going to share this with you in a way that makes you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be ready. This is too much. I truly right. just want you to understand how we operate our business and what we share in our program. And so for those of you who are in our 20K program already, this is just gonna be a good reminder to right. go back through and make sure you have these things in place. The first thing you need to have in place for this wedding season is a marketing funnel. So let's talk yeah. real quick on some tips about your marketing funnel and some of the things that you need to have in there, that whole process. Okay, yeah. so the first thing is you need to get clear on who your ideal client is. And you're not going after every single bride and groom. Right. Because you don't need to. Mm -hmm. Remember, it only takes five to 10 destination weddings a year to have a six figure income. Right. So all you, you need to focus on the wedding couple that you really want to go after. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of them out there. They all are looking for help in this new normal, planning their destination wedding. We want you to go after the ones that fit your specialty, your unique mm -hmm. talent in the destination wedding industry right. because there's religious destination weddings, right? You might specialize in Catholic weddings. You might specialize in Jewish weddings. Uh, you might specialize just in Mexico destination weddings. You right. might specialize just in Jamaica. There's all kinds of wedding couples you can go after and you don't need a lot. And then the next thing you want to do for your marketing funnel in and in, in thinking of your ideal client is you want to craft a marketing message that speaks to that ideal client. Yes. Right. Um, I'm crafting that message that speaks directly to them so that when they go to your website or when they see your social post or when they see your blog, they yeah. are like, feel like you are talking right to them. They feel like you are the solution to right. exactly what they're looking for. And that's why we say you don't need, you're not trying to be all things to all people. Right. You want to be the perfect solution for the right fit couple. And so it makes everything so much more simple right. because otherwise marketing can be overwhelming. And it's just like, what do I post about today? What do I talk about? Like, and then you're trying to market to right. so many people, you end up marketing to no one. So then the other thing you need in your marketing funnel is a yeah. lead magnet or two or three or however many lead magnets you need to make, just make them, but start with one. Yeah. Start with one that's going to answer the question of the majority of your clients will have. That's going to be a good solution uh, or partial solution, I should say, for the majority of your clients. And the reason why we mention it is <laughs> not to be a pain or be redundant, but it works. Mm -hmm. It works. That's how we build a multiple six figure destination wedding and honeymoon travel business is because we built a lead magnet out there that wedding couples wanted. We created a lead magnet that spoke to those couples. They came across it on the internet. They put their name and email in to get it. We had their name and email. We could market to them mm -hmm. and we got hired by them. Right. Which <clears throat> leads to the next part of that marketing funnel is having an email sequence. Yes. So even if it's just like three initial emails that you have written out, once somebody downloads and gets your, lead magnet, then you want to have an automated sequence that goes out to kind of just touch base with them and give them a little bit more information and get them to know, like, and trust you a little bit more. Because at the end of your lead magnet, yes, you have a call to action. You want them to schedule a consultation. But if some people aren't ready for that yet, so having a follow-up sequence already on the ready that's automated so right. that when people download your lead magnet. But take the time over the next a few months to make sure, like you said, build your lead magnet, get it ready to go, make your email sequences, you know, one's welcoming them and giving them the link to your lead magnet. The next email is ask them how everything's going and maybe join your Facebook group or um, be on the lookout for tips and honeymoon and destination wedding tips. Mm -hmm. Or you've got a series on five amazing resorts that you want to share with them. One resort and any one email per resort. You're always sharing, like share them a little bit of knowledge in the next email and then third email again, then you go ahead and start sending them the info you promised them. So you're nurturing them. Okay. So the second thing, so we're talking about three tips 
to yeah. be ready. The first thing is that marketing funnel, which we just yeah. kind of went through. The second thing is having a consultation funnel. So basically this is something again that we go over in our, in our um, 20K course. So this will be a little bit of a repeat, but again, we want to make sure you're checking off these boxes. Like, okay, I have that in place. I'm ready. Right. So you want to create a process for your potential client to schedule with you. That includes having a form on your website that links to a calendar. So right. basically you need to have a process that when somebody comes to you to, to who wants to potentially talk to you about having a destination wedding, it's not like, oh, just give me a call and you're just going to pick up the phone and drop everything you're doing the moment that they call. No, you have to have right. a process in place. You have a form on your website with a few qualifying questions. And yeah. then once they submit that form, it links to a calendar. So um, your calendar will have times yeah. for them to schedule a consultation with you. And we don't recommend that your calendar is just wide open and you just, you're just willing to yeah. talk to anybody any time of the Pick day. Pick a couple of days a week Pick to a, be available yeah. and that's it. A couple days a week, a couple of times within each of those days. You know, maybe one of the one of the days would be like the evening hours because a lot of couples need that because they work full time. And then the other day would be, you know, maybe some morning or afternoon times. Uh, but don't make yourself like 100 percent available. The way this all fits is you got your lead magnet out there. The wedding couple finds it. It gives them an answer to some of the problem they're facing. They put their name and email in. Mm -hmm. They they read your lead magnet or they watch it if it's a video. They're like, all right, this this person knows what they're doing. At the end of your lead magnet, we always teach you put a call to action in there to be like, if you would like to get help or if you're stuck, schedule a free consultation with me today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they click on that button. The button takes them to the page on your website where the consultation form is at. Mm -hmm. They fill it out. They hit submit. They schedule it. You wake up in the morning and you have an inbox, an appointment scheduled in your inbox of so someone that's already excited to meet with you, that's right. already pre-sold to hire you. So the next thing within that consultation process is to have your consultation format prepared. So what I mean uh -huh. by that is just yeah. understanding the format of you conducting that consultation and what the questions and things that you're going to ask how you want to lead your couple during this consultation. It yeah. is not a time for them to just be open Q and a with you, right? You need to lead the consultation. You got to lead the conversation. So you need yeah. to have a format, a, a mindset of understanding how am I going to guide these people to me as the solution to their problem. Part of this consultation process is for you to also decide, is this person a good fit for me? Right. You don't, we don't teach you to work. You don't have to work with everybody. You shouldn't work with everybody. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't going to be a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. Work with the people that light you up, that you know you can help, that appreciate you. And then the next thing in the consultation process that you want to have in place is a list of questions to follow. Yes. It's specifically how you're going to close the deal, right? How you're going to seal the deal, close the consultation and have that practice and, and you have to know what you want to say and how you're going to position that end of the com conversation for sure. Yeah. Um, and the, when it comes to the questions and that, you know, kind of really just stacking things in a way where you're um, getting them to that emotional level, you're understanding a little bit more of what their vision is. It's not all just a logistical conversation, right? right? You want to find out a little bit more about, what they truly want and what's really, really important to them. So yeah. that when you come to that end of the consultation, you can kind of bring it all back together and say, Hey, because these are the things that you want and because this is why you want to host a destination wedding. I, you know, yeah. and then you have to just know what you want to say at that point, because the <clears throat> purpose of the consultation is to sell yourself and your services without being salesy. So for me personally, when I'm closing out a consultation, yeah. I am sharing the process of what this looks like to them because they've never done this before. Right? right. And this process helps them not only realize that I know what the heck I'm doing and it's going right. to be useful and helpful to them, but it also gives them peace that they've found somebody who can help them navigate this. Right. So understanding the process of how the destination wedding um, planning works and letting them know how it all unfolds will be a natural way to end any consultation. So the next thing, so we have the three things that we believe you need to have ready. One, the marketing funnel. Two, 
the um, consultation funnel or process and three, right. the new client acquisition process. Yes. So this is the other thing that you want to have in place so that you're not like, oh my gosh, they're hiring me. Now what do I do? But yeah. the first thing you want to have in place is your list of services. Yes. This is going to include your professional planning fee. So you want to stack your value. You want to show your value. Those of you in the 20K program, we have that download for you. You can just follow that format, copy right. it. We we'll give you all of it. Like literally, up. you can copy and paste it if you want, or you just you know add some things depending on your list of services. But please look at it and make sure that fits what you want to do. Otherwise, you'll right. be signing up for stuff that you didn't. Like, <laughs> you promised me this. I did. Ooh, whoopsie! Don't do that. Yeah, look, look through, through it. it. Yes, but you want to have a list of services along with a professional planning fee because at the end right. of your consultation, you're not going to tell them how much it costs to work with you. You're not going to go into all that. You're going to send right. them an email. And you just say, you know what? I do have a professional planning fee to work with me, but when we get done with our call, I'm going to send you an email with right. my list of services so that you guys can discuss on your own together right. um, if you would like to work with me and if you feel like we're a good match for each other. Right. And then, of course, um, if you have any questions about my services, just let me know. It's this, a twofold win. Having this list right. shows your value, but it also shows them what it takes. Um, it's just like a right. glimpse of, oh, stars, I don't want to do that. <laughs> right. It's a twofold process. So that is something so that, yeah. have your list uh -huh. of services, uh, including your professional planning fees. And if you're just getting started, you know, you can start where you're comfortable on that, but you do need to charge something. Yes. Um, and so the other thing you want for your new client acquisition um, is a contract for your services. Yes. Have a contract ready. Um, you just have your contract template, then that way when they're ready to hire you, right. you just are getting their name, their phone number, you're getting all their information so you can just go in, fill the contract out, send it to them. The last thing you want to do is get hired by somebody and right. then it takes you a whole week to get them a contract. Yeah. And guess what they're going to, that's so guess what's going to happen. Them. They're going to be gone. Right. Like you don't, you can't, you have to have these processes in place. We're not sharing with you. All of right. these things, you know, just for fun. Um, and then the next thing is have a way to invoice your customer that professional planning fee. Yes. So again, that's a question. You don't want to be like, oh gosh, I got hired now. What do I do? Like, you need to think right. about these processes in advance and know exactly what's going to happen once they consult right. with you. After they consult with you, you're sending them their list of service. After they say yes, I'm sending them my contract. After they say I send the contract, I have to send them a, an in, invoice. How right. am I sending them an invoice for my professional planning fee? Like what yeah. program am I going to use? I personally use PayPal. Yes, yeah. it's been something I've used for forever and it's just easy for me. But let's just review real quick okay. three things that you need to have in place to be ready for this upcoming wedding season. Your marketing funnel. Yep. Your consultation funnel or consultation process. Uh -huh. Yes and the new client acquisition process. Yes. So having those things in place is going to cut your stress level extremely because we are telling you 2022 is the year of the destination wedding specialist. And so you've got this huge trifecta of things happening right. on top of right. agencies close their doors because they didn't make yes. it through the pandemic. There are a lot of agencies. On top of. That's right. Agents that used to be that were on the verge of retirement decided during pandemic high demand of people wanting to work with a professional and not as many professionals. Right. So the time is now for you guys mm -hmm. to get your businesses ready to go. If you are not part of our 20K program um, and you are looking to build and grow your destination wedding business. Um, I did want to make sure that you were invited to our next masterclass. So check out 20kweddingday.com mm -hmm. and that's where you can sign up for the free. It's a free masterclass. Our right. first one is next Monday at one o'clock Eastern. We've got three of them, one o'clock, a four o'clock on the 27th and then November 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern. And they're live. And so then and live. we're going to be there live. It's a great opportunity again to just ask us questions and different things like that as well yeah. um, as you're growing your business. All right. Well, thanks for joining. Hopefully this was super helpful for you. Um, yeah. Of course, uh, reach out if you have any questions about anything, but definitely register 
for one of the upcoming master classes. We would love yes. to see you there so that we can show you how to have a profitable travel yes. business with destination weddings.